Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for being here. I know we had a little bit of change of plan because the Irish weather decided to threaten our plans. So this is actually nice and cosy, right? So um, we're delighted to have this opportunity to have a reading of the proclamation and a performance uh, by the Glee Club of the Friendly Sons of St. Patrick in the city of New York. We'll have a reading of the proclamation in English um, by Lisa Dwan, and then it will be followed by uh, a reading of the proclamation uh, uh, by Moran and, and Anton O'Duffig. And we're going to start off with some music first, and then we will go into the proclamations and then return to some music. There's a printout of the programme for people who want to see the specific pieces which will be performed now. So I'll hand over to the Glee Club of the Friendly Sons of St. Patrick in the City of New York. Thank you for being here on this special occasion. We very, very, very much appreciate this. Thank you. we're singing is When Ireland Stands Among the Nations of the World, and the soloist for this particular composition will be Kevin Peters. Come into 
with heart and soul I pray, God may speed the blessed day. When Ireland stands among the nations of the world, oh, Provisional government of the Irish Republic to the people of Ireland. Irish men and Irish women, in the name of God and of the dead generations from which she receives her old tradition of nationhood, Ireland, through us, summons her children to her flag and strikes for her freedom. Having organized and trained her manhood, through her secret revolutionary organization, the Irish Republican Brotherhood, and through her open military organizations, the Irish Volunteers and the Irish Citizen Army, having patiently perfected her discipline, having resolutely waited for the right moment to reveal itself, she now seizes that moment, and supported by her exiled children in America and by gallant allies in Europe, but relying in the first on her own strength, she strikes in full confidence of victory. We declare the right of the people of Ireland to the ownership of Ireland and to the unfettered control of Irish destinies to be sovereign and indefeasible. The long usurpation of that right by a foreign people and government has not extinguished the right, nor can it ever be extinguished, except by the destruction of the Irish people. In every generation, the Irish people have asserted their right to national freedom and sovereignty. Six times during the past 300 years, they have asserted it in arms. Standing on that fundamental right and again asserting it in arms in the face of the world, we hereby proclaim the Irish Republic as a sovereign independent state. And we pledge our lives and the lives of our comrades in arms to the cause of its freedom, of its welfare, and of its exaltation among the nations. The Irish Republic is entitled to and hereby claims the allegiance of every Irish man and Irish woman. The Republic guarantees religious and civil liberty, equal rights and equal opportunities to all its citizens, and declares its resolve to pursue the happiness and prosperity of the whole nation and of all its parts cherishing all of the children of the nation equally and oblivious of the differences carefully fostered by an alien government which have divided a minority from the majority in the past. 
until our arms have brought the opportune moment for the establishment of a permanent national government, representative of the whole people of Ireland, and elected by the suffrages of all her men and women, the provisional government, hereby constituted, will administer the civil and military affairs of the Republic in trust for the people. We place the cause of the Irish Republic under the protection of the Most High God, whose blessing we invoke upon our arms. And we pray that no one who serves that cause will dishonor it by cowardice, inhumanity, or rapine. In this supreme hour, the Irish nation must, by its valor and discipline, and by the readiness of its children to sacrifice themselves for the common good, prove itself worthy of the august destiny to which it is called. Signed on behalf of the provisional government, Thomas J. Clark, Sean McDermott, Thomas McDonough, P. H. Pierce, Eamon Kant, James Connolly, Joseph Plunkett. The <laughs> Brohark is public Naharan, Agus in a Hagriak the Mil at the Pively, Oglig Naharan, Agus Arm Kahar the Naharan, Teristi a fine smacked a hort the Finak conferfata, Agus Fehev Gaboon Shaspak, Leshan Vile Kungneen, Baron Sheen is Sharon Vile, Agus La Caron a clown, a Thor Jory Duhi America, Agus on a Cord de Kalmak, Cogus and Orb, Ak Hargothney, Lamwinin. Agus as a North Fane, Toshi a Gula Gula, Agus Londo Kusaki, Gamerak Shield. Takartic Publak Naharan, or Yield Shock, the Rugus Vran Naharan, Agus Elian Shi and Jeel Suction. Rahin and Fublak, Searsha Krejiv, Agus Searsha Hevilta, Ko Kart, Agus Ko Yesh, the Nilla Hiranach. Agus Jaravi and Shi Gurbe, a Rune Shain, Agus Sonus, the Lord of the Nashinilla, Agus Gak Kudste. Karamach Kus Fablach Naharan Fui Hamarka Yea Morn and Illakuacht, Ogus Iramaj of Anach Dar Ar Narm, Ogus Giamaj Nak Darangui, and Inya Vesic Fonu Dun Kushan, Asoner Arhi Lamatat, Lami Renach Na La Slad, Er Ur Nahirach the Rohush La Shaw, Ni Foller the Nashin Naharan, Lena Kalmacht, Lena Smacht Der Fein, Ogus Tree Hilla Klinya Heed Fein, Ebert Shurson Nasa Fubbin, A Kruhu Gurfue and Reim Rohus Ulus Dando. Arnahinu Harkyan and Realtus Holiday, Tomas O'Clary, Sean McDermott, Tomas McDonagha, Patrick McPierish, Eamon Kant, Seamus O'Connila, Shosu Plunkett.
us all here at Luxman Ireland House I would like to thank you that was so special thank you so much to Kevin Fawhey and to David Ralph and all the members of uh, the Glee Club of the Friendly Sons of St. Patrick of New York I am sure that Padraig Pierce and the other signatories of the uh, proclamation had no idea that 100 years later a diverse group like this would gather in this special occasion uh, to celebrate and commemorate, I should say, in this way, this important historic event. Um, I really, really would like to ask for a really warm round of applause for the Glee Club once more. <laughs> the, this event was, um, some of you may know, some of you have been with us for the last two days. We had a very rewarding historic conference uh, downtown at uh, Pire over the last two days. And this event this evening was the brainchild of my friend and colleague, Marion Casey, who has done some groundbreaking research on a gentleman called Victor Herbert. And Victor <laughs> Herbert in 1913 founded the Glee Club of the Friendly Sons here. So there is a really uh, warm, uh, strong, historical link with this, not these precise men. <laughs> You're far too young looking. But he, and he was also the first conductor, so we're really delighted to welcome them to Luxman Ireland House and to welcome you all. I hope everyone will stay and have a glass of wine and, um, uh, as I said, reflect back on this historic moment in, in Irish history and in Irish American history because as we know, there are very, very strong transatlantic li links that we have really dug deep in uh, over the last few days in our research. And there will be a book, folks. Thank you again. Gurv Meal and Mahagov, August, Tofal Chirot, Arash, Erbaul. Gurv Mahagov.